all over the world. But wh why not? Oceans get in the way. Oh, oh, oceans. Okay. <laughs> um, bird. what's an ocean? A whole lot of water. Water? Hmm. Well, cars can get wet, uh, can't they? Well, yes, but not that wet. You see, Cars are made for roads on land. Terra firma, that means solid ground. Yeah, so they could go on the ocean. No, that's why they can't. I don't get it. <sighs> to travel across an ocean, you need a boat. There are no roads. Oh, oh, a Boat. Oh, well, I know about boats. They float really well in the bathtub. Uh, huh. Cars sink right to the bottom. Uh, something like that. It was a perfect day for a walk in the park. Boat! And it was a perfect day for sailing boats. Not so fast, Caillou. <laughs> Hi, that's my boat. It's nice, huh? Caillou didn't really want to give the boat back. He wished he had a big boat just like it to float on the lake. I want a boat like that. You have lots of nice boats of your own at home. Come on. It's time to launch the fleet, Captain. What's the matter, Caillou? Plastic boats are for babies. I want a big boat like the one at the lake. Hop in. Can we go to the lake and watch the boats, Mommy? We're going someplace even better. You and Rosie are going to spend the day with Grandma and Grandpa. Where's Grandpa? Hi, Caillou. I'm down here trying to make room for my new workbench. Would you like to help, Caillou? What is it? 
It's your dad's old kiddie pool. Why, with a bit of patching up, this would be great for you and Rosie. What's in here, Grandpa? Oh, all kinds of old stuff. Maybe even dinosaur bones. You know, I bet this still has some life in it. A boat! Oh, my old boat. Your dad helped me make that when he wasn't much older than you. It's just like the ones at the lake. Let's go sail it. It's a little worse for wear, Caillou. I don't know if it'll sail. Please, Grandpa. I want to sail it now. Well, I did build it to last. I guess we could give it a try. It's working. Aww. That's all right. Every good sailor has setbacks. But if we put some work into fixing this boat up, it'll be as good as new. Caillou and Grandpa spent all afternoon working on the boat. Why don't you paint a sea for Caillou? It's perfect. Let's go to the lake now. Oh, we can't sail it yet, Caillou. We have to wait for the paint to dry. Caillou felt like the paint was taking forever to dry. Is it dry yet? I guess it's probably dry now. Yay! Oh, that's okay. We'll make our own lake. Come on. in that bucket? More than ten. <gasps> Eleven? Um, oh, see the grass? Oh, and thank you. I prefer lettuce. Right. But see how many blades of grass there are? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, this year must be a lot more than twelve. <gasps> Gazillions! Gazillions is the biggest number in the whole world. Wait a minute. The sky. The, the, the ocean is in the sky? No, it's as big as the sky, almost. Oh, that's big. Yeah. When I travel, I pack my suitcase full. I take all the things I need, because that's the rule. I don't pack my dog. He has to stay at home. I don't pack my birdie. Can't do that when you roam. I don't pack the bathtub, the waiting pool, the cookie jar, or the kitchen stool. We all love to travel on land or sea or sky. We all love to travel, my family and I. Take a boat if you need to float. Take a car if it's not too far. Take a train over rough terrain. But to go the farthest, you got to take a plane. When I travel, I pack my suitcase full. I take all the things I need, because that's the rule. I don't take the TV, no need to watch the screen. I don't take my bike or my tambourine. I don't pack my rollerblades or an insect. I don't pack my window. That wouldn't be correct. We all love to travel on land or sea or sky. We all love to travel, my family and I. Take a boat if you want to float. Take a car if it's not too far. Take a train over rough terrain. But to go the farthest, you've got to take the plane. Did you know that there are lots of different ways to travel? Where we travel most is by car. Uh-huh. Just like Sarah and her mom. You have to buckle up to be safe in the car. In the old 
old days, they didn't have cars, and they had to travel by horse. Wow! Horses will always be the best. I bet Philip agrees that horses are the best. Boats and ships are another way to travel. Of course, they only go in water. They're really big, so they can carry lots of things to other places. That's called cargo. The ropes keep the boats from drifting out to sea. Uh-huh. They want to go too fast on land. They don't have any wheels. But cars are still the best way to get around the neighborhood. Don't you think? very excited because he was about to take a long trip on a train for the very first time. When is the train coming, Mommy? Train! It shouldn't be much longer, sweetie. Phew! These weigh a ton. We're only going away for two weeks, but we packed enough for the entire summer. Daddy! Daddy! I hear the train! It's coming! very excited. But as he watched the train getting closer, he began to feel a little scared. Mommy! It's very big, isn't it? How you couldn't believe how big the train was. The noise frightened him. I don't want to go. There's nothing to be afraid of. Come on, it's time to get on board. Are you two coming on board? Yes, sir, we are. Well, then maybe someone should help your dad with those bags. There you go. Are you folks traveling far? We're on the train for two days. Really? And what's your name? Caillou. Well, Caillou, have you ever slept on a train before? No. You're gonna love it. You'll see, it'll rock you straight to sleep. Where are the beds? That's the best part. They magically appear when it's dark. Say sleep three times and clap your hands, and I bet you, they'll show up. Really? Really. But first, I'm gonna need your tickets. Thank you. We should be leaving any minute now. I'll see you later, Caillou. Daddy, it looks like the train station is moving. It's really the train that's moving, Caillou. It just looks like it's the other way around. <laughs> Why don't we go exploring while Mommy puts Rosie down for her nap? He was so excited about exploring the train that he had a hard time keeping quiet. It's kind of hard walking in a train, oh. isn't it? Caillou thought walking on a train was like being on a ride at the amusement park. Where's the bathroom? I'm not sure, but it can't be far. Can we find one now? Caillou had never seen such a small bathroom before. He wasn't sure how anything worked. Are you okay in there? I don't know how it works, Daddy. Hey, it's just your size. Here, you press the button on the wall to flush, and don't forget to wash your hands. Caillou thought it was funny to be in such a small bathroom. It was much smaller than the one at home. Hi. Oh. 
Hello there. And what's your name? Caillou. What do you think of my kitchen? We have a kitchen, too, but it's a lot bigger than yours. Well, maybe it is, but does your kitchen travel to faraway places? <laughs> no, can't say that it does. Could you tell us where the restaurant is? There's a restaurant, too? <laughs> Hi, Caillou. Boy, that looks good. So, have you been on the grand tour? Let's see. The bathroom, the kitchen, and now the restaurant. I'd call that a grand tour. You mean, you haven't been to the dome car yet? That's the best part. Caillou was having so many wonderful new adventures that he couldn't imagine what could be better than his triple brownie sundae. What's a dome car? Oh! The dome car is a wonderful place. You climb up some stairs, and suddenly it's like you're flying in a plane. A plane on the train? Next stop, the dome car. Whoa! Slow down, Caillou. You wouldn't want to get a stomachache and not be able to go flying, would you? Go on up, Caillou. Caillou huh? really wondered how a plane could sit on a train. How do we fly on a train, Daddy? Stanley was comparing it to a plane because we're above the ground and the train goes fast. Come on, you'll see. Wow, Caillou, this is beautiful. Now do you wow. see why Stanley says it's like being in a plane? Vroom, 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 vroom. Caillou pretended he was flying his very own plane. He loved watching the passing clouds out of the glass roof. Come on, Caillou, it's time for bed. I don't want to go to bed. Caillou loved being on the train so much that he wasn't quite ready for bed yet. Come in. Stanley, Mommy says it's bedtime, but the beds aren't here yet. Really? That's strange. Is it dark outside? Did you brush your teeth? Hmm. Well, then, I think it's time for the magic words. Do you remember what we have to do, Caillou? Say sleep three times and clap my hands. Sleep, sleep! Rosie, wait! I'm not ready! Now, you and Rosie have to shut your eyes real tight, okay? <laughs> Are you ready? Now, don't peek. Okay, Caillou. Now, slowly say the three magic words. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Okay, Caillou. You can look now. Wow! Good night, sweet dreams. Good night, Stanley. Caillou was gently rocked to sleep by the sounds of the train rolling through the night. The motion must be very big. Yes, and all that water doesn't make it a cat's favorite place. Um, Gilbert? Yes? If an ocean is so big, it needs something big to travel across it. Something big like a train. No, oh, trains can go across rivers on huge train bridges, but they can't go over the ocean. It's too big. Oh. <laughs> what on earth is he up to? I don't know. <laughs> Where are you going? Nowhere. What huh? are you going to do? Nothing. Uh, Teddy, are you feeling all right? Oh, great. Teddy, why are you dressed like that? Going flying. Hmm? But, but teddy bears don't fly. They... they hug. Well, I've been an old stuffed teddy bear all my life. And today I decided to change everything. Today I'm going to fly away to unknown places. But teddy bears don't fly. <laughs> you could get hurt. Hurt? Yes! Flying? Oh, yes. It's dangerous to jump from high up. You might hurt yourself. You've got to be a bird to fly to faraway places. Well, I know I sometimes get a little muddled up, 
But right now, I'm just pretending! <laughs> Teddy bears are pretty smart. Oh, I'm panicking and he's pretending. Of course, pretending's not a bad thing. Oh, no. Huh? You know what, Gilbert? Hmm? I feel like driving to far away places. Huh? See you later. Oh, 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 oh yes. Uh, well, I'm not taking the boat. It's a cat thing. We're not fond of water. <laughs> oh, uh, wait for me. Toot, uh, uh, toot. Chugga, 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 chugga. Chugga, 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 chugga. New adventures every day. Ode to cat food. You're yummy in my tummy. Oh, that's for sure. Oh, I think I'd rather eat it than write about it. I could make a delicious treat for all of us. Oh, my friends are going to love this. Another mud pie? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Even if I could really eat this, it would taste like bleh. But what if I made real pies in Caillou's toy oven? <laughs> they would taste like good eating. <gasps> Gilbert and Teddy would be happy if I do. Yeah. Oh. Hello. <laughs> oh, lovely flowers. Oh. Ah, oh, smelling these sweet flowers makes me think about eating sweet. Yummy cupcakes. Mmm. Oh, I bet everyone would love a cupcake. Mmm. Uh, I know. Uh, I'll surprise them and make some. Mmm. What next, Mommy? One morning, Caillou was helping Mommy make his favorite breakfast. Pancakes. We need to add an egg. I can get it, Mommy. Uh-oh. Looks like we're out of eggs, and I can't make pancakes without an egg. This was very unlucky. Caillou had really been looking forward to those pancakes. No pancakes? No pancakes? <laughs> Let's go buy some eggs, Daddy. Good thinking, Caillou. I can be back with a dozen eggs in no time. Maybe since we only need one egg, we can borrow it from Mr. Hinkle. Why don't you go and ask Caillou? Why, hello, Caillou. Can I have an egg? Well, sure. That's a farm fresh egg. Caillou had never seen a brown egg before. Have you ever been to a farm, Caillou? Would you like to visit one? Yes! It looked like this might be a lucky day for Caillou after all. He was going to get his pancakes and maybe a trip to a farm. It's really nice of you to take Caillou to your sister's farm, Mr. Hinkle. Oh, no trouble. Sis can always use some extra help around the old place. Finish up your pancakes, Caillou. It's time to go. All done. Are you ready to be a farmer for the day, Caillou? This is where I lived when I was a little boy. Caillou had trouble imagining that Mr. Hinkle had ever been a little boy. Hi, sis. Why, hello, Polly. And who have you got with you? This is my neighbor, Caillou. He's come to help you out and be a farmer for the day. Well, pleased to meet you, Farmer Caillou. I'm Mr. Hinkle's big sister, Nancy. Oh, Nan, you've gone and covered me in flour. <laughs> well, of course I did, Polly. I'm baking a pie. Come on in and you can help. Like this? You need more flour on your...
on your pie and less on your face. What next? We need some apples for the filling. I can get them. Um, where are they? I'll show you, Caillou. Follow me. Caillou thought if he could just jump a little higher, he could reach the apple. <laughs> Looks like you need a boost. There were so many beautiful apples. Caillou didn't know which one to pick next. How about that one? But with Mr. Hinkle's help, he picked the nicest apples on the tree for their pies. Like this? That's right. Caillou couldn't wait to taste the pie. When will it be ready to eat? Oh, not for a little while. How do you like to help feed the chickens while it's baking? I bet you've never fed chickens before, have you? Sometimes I feed my cat, Gilbert. Well, then, you're the right man for the job. Caillou didn't like the chickens chasing him. It frightened him. I guess Gilbert isn't as pushy as a bunch of hungry chickens. This will keep them away. Shoo! 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 <laughs> hey, come back! Now it was Caillou's turn to chase the chickens. I found it! Caillou couldn't believe his eyes. The egg had appeared like magic. Where did the egg come from? It came from the chicken. That's where eggs come from. This was my favorite place when I was a kid. Why? Mostly because of this swing. You're going to love it. <laughs> higher! Higher! Whee! <laughs> I want to do it again! Caillou was frightened by the angry cat. Gilbert never hissed at him like that. It's okay. You probably scared her more than she scared you. Look! Well, I'll be. She was just worried about her kittens. If we're very quiet, we can sit and watch for a while. Caillou had never seen such small kittens before. He thought he could watch them forever. Come on, Caillou. Caillou liked the kitten so much, he didn't want to leave it. Can I keep the kitten, Mr. Hinkle? It's very young, and it still needs to be with its mother. And you have Gilbert waiting for you back home. Come on, I smell pie. Caillou thought it was the best pie he had ever tasted, and he made it himself. You're back. How was the farm? Caillou was a big help. He fed the chickens and picked apples and made his own pie. And I got to hold a baby kitten. Farm fresh eggs, how wonderful. No, Mommy, chicken fresh. They're gonna love this, yeah. <sighs> Today we're cooking. Teresa and her dad are making Italian pizza. I love pizza. To make the crust thinner, Teresa's dad throws it in the air. That looks like fun. You can put all kinds of yummy things on pizza. A 
a pizza oven with like a big fireplace. Teresa and her dad take special care to cut it. Mmm, that looks good. Marina and her friends Vio and Natsuka are making Japanese sushi. You need a big square piece of seaweed on a roll-up mat. And then you add rice and fish and other yummy things. And roll it up. Whoa, look at that, a sushi tube. Only Vio's dad gets to cut it. He's really careful. Mmm, delicious. What are Diana and her dad making? All right, so we're gonna make some salt fish, some fish cakes. Fish cakes, a treat from Trinidad. You make a mixture with eggs and water and all kinds of good things. Ooh, that's hard to stir. Then you drop it in the pan, but stay back. Stoves are hot. They look so good, and that's because they are. This is making me hungry. <laughs> You're going to really love mine. <laughs> it's a huge surprise. Oh, oh, I've made you all such an incredible treat. Mm -hmm. Foodalicious, it's nutritious. That means that it's good for me. Foodalicious, it's nutritious. Just as good as good can be. There's broccoli and celery, carrots and tomatoes. There's onions that can make you cry, and all kinds of potatoes. There's many kinds of cheeses, like cheddar, old and new. There's even cheese with holes in it, and good old stinky blue. Yeah. Food delicious, it's nutritious. That means that it's good for me. Food delicious, it's nutritious. Just as good as good can be. There's oranges and apples, grapefruit and papaya. Yeah. There's lemons, kiwis, mangoes, green lime and banana. There's meat like beef and chicken. Pork and duck and goose. There's shepherd's pie, sausage and eggs, and there is even moose. Moose? Food delicious, it's nutritious. That means that it's good for me. Food delicious, it's nutritious. Just as good as good can be. One. Ooh, two. Oh, yeah. And three. Uh, 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 that looks, um, nice. Oh, yeah, um, I can hardly wait. Uh, Gilbert? Mm? Is that dead? Anchovy fish smells delicious. <sighs> uh, I thought you would all love my cupcakes. Yeah, and I thought you would love lettuce and dandelion pie. I was certain that no one could resist my... Oh, oh well, you get my point. Oh. Oh. One afternoon, Caillou and Sarah were playing in Sarah's backyard. Sarah, supper time. 28, 29, 30. Yay, I did it. Let me try now. You're too little to jump rope. Show me how, Sarah. It's time for supper, Sarah. Come in and set the table, please. I'll show you how another day. Bye, Caillou. Why don't you have supper with us, Caillou? I'll call your mommy and ask her. Your mom says you can stay, Caillou. Why don't you help Sarah set the table? Just put them in front of each place. What are they? They're chopsticks. You eat with them, like this. What's this? It's Chinese noodles and vegetables. 
I love noodles, but I don't like vegetables. What's this? It's an egg roll. But don't worry, it's not a vegetable. Oops. Good shot, Caillou. Chopsticks can be a bit tricky at first. Caillou learned that it takes a bit of practice to get the hang of using chopsticks. Oops. Sarah's cat, Ollie, was very happy that Caillou had come for supper. I eat my egg roll with my hands. Maybe you should use your fork now, Caillou. Okay. Eat your bok choy, Sarah. It's good for you. Look, Sarah. Caillou is eating all of his. Bok choy is a vegetable, Caillou. You hate vegetables. I like Chinese vegetables. Yes, it's a Chinese dragon. Would you like to try it on? Ooh, you make a very scary dragon, Caillou. <laughs> Green is my favorite. Green is my favorite, too. <laughs> Caillou, what are you doing? I want to try the chopsticks. Oh, you can't eat this with chopsticks. It's too slippery. Wow! Oops! Show me how, Caillou! Caillou was able to show Sarah something new. I wanted you to love my treat. Hmm. I made it fresh for you. Well, I'm sure you did a fine job. It would have been nice if someone had appreciated all the work I did. Same here. I appreciate it, Teddy and Rexy. I, I just don't want to eat what you made. Seems to me that we all wanted to share our treats, but we each like different things. Even though this is a delicious treat for a cat, it's hard to understand, but maybe a teddy bear and a toy dinosaur don't consider it much of a treat. Uh -uh. No. Uh -uh. Uh, but, but teddy bears love cupcakes. Oh, and, and dinosaurs love vegetables. Well, at least this one does. Yeah. Oh, well, we all like different foods because we're different. Oh, you're, you're right. Mm. A teddy bear, a dinosaur, and a cat are very different. Mm, true, true. I don't know about you, but I would love to eat my treat. Oh, yum. I would love to eat mine, too. Mm. Well, mm. teddies do love to share, but I think it would be a waste of a beautiful cupcake Mm, if I didn't eat it. <laughs> well, then, I say... We did it! Oh, um, Teddy? Mm -hmm. well, maybe I'll try a, a, a ninsy winsy teensy bite of yours. Well, okay, here you go. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Oh, well, maybe I'll try an eatsy weensy bite of yours. Okay. Mm. Okay. So, what do you think? What do you think? Delicious. <laughs> Different, yeah. but delicious. Uh -huh. mm. Ah, well then, here you go. Uh, 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 no, thank oh. you. Uh, uh, no, no, thank you. Maybe next time. Oh, yes, no. maybe next time, Gilbert. Maybe next time. For yeah. sure, for sure, for sure. Uh.